اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم and welcome to Friday's class can I ensure that your heads are covered girls your heads are covered with a headscarf and boys that your uh, that your heads are covered with a cap please can I ensure you are all in wuzu as well and we can begin our class now in today's lesson we will be looking at this surah surah al-balad which means the city and in this we will be looking at something new which is a major pause sign called waqf al-lazim just like the format for the whole week it will be student led recitation so it will be less of me talking and you'll have the opportunity to recite now as you've been hearing for the past few days this week we are going to be fortunate enough to have a jalsa uh, muslimah and for this if you would like to take part you can take part in nazm or tilawat for nazm please send in a recording to of bashir ahmed sharif ahmed or mubarak yamin that's the nazm if you want to be considered for tilawat please send a recording of the first five verses of surah juma which is chapter 62 This is the email address that you can send the recording to info@nqc.org.uk and you've been seeing this all week so I won't read it out to you but you can see here this is the format you need to send when emailing so it's important to write write all this these things here your G2 ID your name and the jalsa will inshallah take place it was due today but for unforeseen circumstances we put it forward to tuesday the 25th of february so that will not be a normal class it will be a jalsa inshallah and the timing is as usual from 6 to 7 pm so we have had a few participants but it would be great if more of you can contribute and as we haven't yet chosen the nazm and uh, the lavat so it would be great if you want to be considered for that please do email us Uh, now we're going to head to our first prayer so assalamu alaikum co-host wa alaikum assalam please could you give me a participant for the opening dua all right okay our first student is n8408 exactly assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam could you please lead us in the opening prayer Okay. A'udhu billahi minash shaitani rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka antas samiul alim. Our Lord accept us from accept from us you you for you are all all hearing all knowing al bakra 128 jazakallah okay allah hafiz okay so as i said we're going to be looking at this surah surah al balad and as i said before let me just take you back we're going to be looking at this waqf al lazim so If you could just read students at home read in your own time what does this say here read it just at read at home waqf lazim and it refers to this because there's two stop signs in this line it refers to this first one with a meme on it and we'll come to that but basically it just means that it's a compulsory stop so you have to stop here and we'll go over this inshallah i plan to read this with you twice at least so you'll have the opportunity to go over it and in this surah we're just going to be putting into practice all the rules we've learnt so i get to hear your beautiful beautiful recitations co-host could i please have somebody to um read this please yes we have now e7396 okay jazakallah assalamu alaikum Assalamu alaikum can you hear me Can one more time assalamu alaikum can you hear me Okay no could we have someone else please Yes Okay 
देखें Exactly. Well done. And so, what does that mean? That you have to like make a kind of bounce noise. Yes. Very yeah. good. Very good. You know it well, but for the um, benefit of everyone else, there are five kalkala letters or jerking sound letters. And if you could demonstrate how they are read by reading by reading the this table here. Ek, sato, eb. Aja. Aja. Good. Jid. Good. And what do you notice that's similar about these five letters? What do they all have on top? Um, they have a sukun. Yes, very good. So, let me go back. Right. So, if you could read this first line again, bearing in mind. This letter, and then you also tell me, it's a bit of a trick question. I haven't highlighted that. There is one other letter that's Galgala. So let's see if you find out. So just the first line, please. La uqasimu bihazal balad. That's right. And which one was the other letter, the Galgala letter? Adadad. Yes, very good. So la uqasimu bihazal balad, very good. And then the other bit that was highlighted is the noon sakin. So let me just find that for you. Do you know why I highlighted the noon sakin? Uh, yeah, I made a mistake. It, I, I was supposed to do a nasal sound. Yes, excellent. Very good. I like how you can pick up your mistake straight away. So can you recite that for me? Actually, well, just one second. Let me just go through the whole line of the mistakes and you can recite it all. Okay, just a reminder to everyone, uh, please turn off your cameras because I can see some videos so let's not disrupt the class okay so you know to do a nasal sound here why did I highlight this one this miniature meme um, because it has a what do you think um, hang on I'll show you I don't want you to struggle okay so here we have an example of miniature meme it's called Meme Makluba. The name doesn't matter, but we can call it Miniature Meme. It looks a bit small. Can you see the tiny meme on here in blue? Yeah. Yeah? You'll only find it after a noon sakin uh, and tanween. So here, look, there's a noon sakin and you find a miniature meme. And a tanween and you find a miniature meme. And a bar always comes after it. So what's, what happens here is an exchanging or replacing happens. Instead of Unba, you have to say 
Amba. And what happens is that the miniature meme helps you do that. So in a lot of Quranic texts, especially in Arab countries, you won't have that miniature meme because the people over there already know how to pronounce that. So I think in the Western countries, like in England where we live, you will have the miniature meme there just to help you um, pronounce it rightly. So as opposed to anba, you just say amba and you hold it for about two seconds. So can I get you to recite these two examples just to practice? Um, Good. And here? Ali Mumbizati. Okay, good. So you replaced it fine. What I would ask you to do in this last one is to hold it for two seconds. So have a go again. Ali Mumbizati. Very good. Uh, let me go back. So we, you know what to do here. Hilum Bihaza. And then the last one here, I think you know why I highlighted that. Yeah, Kalkala. Uh, Very good. Okay, so have a go with this one again. Good. And then the next verse, I highlighted this one. What do you think? Kalkala as well. Very good. And you can do the. What, what, why did I highlight this one? Um. Galkala as well. Galkala as well. Very good. So, could you just read these two verses, the remaining ones, and we'll finish on on that. Very good. Right. I highlighted one more thing. Um, it was this cough. What can you tell me about the qaf? Uh, it's a thick letter. That's right. So I need to hear that in pronunciation. And the way to get the thick letter is to round your mouth. So if you say it again, la. La kod. That's fine. That's, why, why don't you say the whole verse? La kod khalak nal insana fi insana fi kabad. Good. Um, now before I let you go, one more thing. On this noon sack in here, you uh, you did uh, very well and you recited with the nasal sound. I would just say I'd like you to hold it for two seconds. So, so the way, good way to remember is and the, the duration that you hold this for two seconds is the same duration you're going to go up with this sa. So, okay, so have a go. Mashallah, that was excellent. Jazakallah. Okay, Allah Hafiz for now. Jazakallah, Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Could I have the next participant, please? Yes. Okay, now we have A N A four zero six. N a406. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum salam. Okay, can we start from here, please, with this surah? If you start with the awuz. A'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Abah. Abah. Sa. That's a yeah. Okay, so a uh, yeah. Oh, that's really small. It looks like a but yeah, but it's a yeah. A yeah, sabu an Allah alam yarahu ahad. Okay, let's do this one again. This was here. This line was fine here. We just on to here. You got a little bit confused. So start from ayah. Ayah. Ayah sabu. An alam yara. Okay, just stop there. I'll help you in this one. Alayak. Alayak. Yes, continue yourself. 
Dira. Yeah, can you read it from Dira? Just uh, here. Just this one here. D. I'm not sure. <coughs> oh, just see, see the highlighted bit there? Dira. Mm. Dira. Yeah, go back. Um, yeah, we're looking in the book right now. Because, oh, uh, I see. Okay. Because we, um, we, we, the laptop is not working, so that's why we had to use the phone. Which oh, is okay. So do you want to start from where you were before? Ayah uh, Sabu. Ayah Sabu. Alan Yakdira Alayhi Ahad. Ahad. Good. So you continue. Yakulu ah ah lak ah lak tu tu ma lal lal lubat bad bada. Very good. Ayah sabu an al alam ya rahu ruhu. Ahad. Okay, very good. I'm just going to stop you there and then we'll go over. So now you're following uh, what I'm telling you in the Quran, right? Uh, yeah. Yes, okay, great. So let's first go to this one. Uh, yes. Now look at the alif and the noon sakin followed by the lam mushadid. Let me know if you have it. Can you yeah. see it? Okay, yeah. great. Now tell me why do you think I am not reading Anla. Which one is right? Anla or Allah? Allah. That's right. Can you explain why? Um, is it because um because of the um the minute uh how was it? The W on it. Yeah, Shadda you mean, isn't isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So can you see the screen at all? Can you, are you do you have access yeah. to the screen? Okay, you can. So what does this slide say? Uh, idhami kamil. When you see, no, no, that's fine. That's fine. So it says idhami kamil. That's the name of the rule. And then can you read? Well, let me just explain br briefly. So when you see a tinween, like you see here, run and fun, and um, you see la mushadid afterwards. What you're supposed to do is join this tanween with the lam mushadid and there should be no nasal sound. So, can you say these examples for me? Um, Jairullakum. Good. But this is just a khok. Okay. Good. Now, remember, with the tashdid, you're not supposed to take it up. So it should be just a holding, a sitting down on the lam. So, khayrullakum. Khayrullakum. Good. And what about this one? Ra, ra u for rahim. That's very good. And well done for putting this into practice of sitting on the ra. I noticed you did that. So well done. Okay. Bear with me one second. Okay, so we'll put that into practice here when you'll say Alayyak. You did Kalkala on the Qaf. Very good. Now, why have I highlighted this Dal here? Um, is it because you don't mention, you don't say no. Dun? You're right. What happens when you do stop and there's a uh, Dhammatain and a stop sign? What you happens? Say, I think you say Du. No, not even Du. You actually said it right. It change, changes into a Sukoon. And when so, it changes into a sukoon, what happens? What happens? Uh, what what kind of letter does it become? Um, yeah, there's a clue on the screen. Uh, a kalkala letter? That's right, that's right. And look, there you see dal was one of the letters there, and dal is a kalkala letter. And what is a kalkala letter? Um, so you make a jerking noise when you say it. Very good. So just read this table here. Ika, Sata, Iba, Aja, 
G G. Oh, did. Very good. Okay. So you know to do a, a had over here. And then I highlighted this here because exactly the same thing is going on. Remember the idrami kamil? Yeah. Like I explained before. So you know how to read that too. So let's mm -hmm. take you back to a yahsabu and you read all those verses applying the rules I've taught you. So have a go from a. Uh, yes, Ayasabu Alan Yak Deed. Hold on, let's read it slowly. So you said a Yahsabu and then read from there. Al Alan Alay. So you don't read the noon second, you're going to join straight to the Ya Mushadid. Alay. Good. Alay. So follow me. Alayak. Alayak. Yep, and continue. Dira alay hi ajad. Ahad. Ahad. Good. Okay, let me just stop stop you there one second. Let me show you something else. It's about the thickness of the ra. So ra is not one of the thick letters, but when it has a fatah and dhamma on it, it's going to be pronounced with a thick and heavy sound. So can you re read these examples below? Ra, ra, fa, a, ruba, a, ruba, ma. Very good. Ar, ar, sala. Why do you think? This ra is thick because it doesn't have a fatah dhamma on it, but it's um, still thick. It has the, um, I'm not sure what it's called. Sukun? Yeah. Okay, almost. It has a sukun, but if the ra has a sukun and before it, it there is a fatah or a dhamma, then ra will still be thick. So this ra is thick because of the fatah before it. So read this again, please. Ar Ar Sala. Very good. Mur Mursilun. Good. This one is a bit tricky to make thick. Mur, because your mur. Cause your mouth is already quite rounded from the dhamma. So have a go again. Mursiluna. Good. Okay. One second. Okay. So you know that on this raw yaka di raw. Alayhi. So read from this. Yaq. Yaq dira alayhi ahad. Ahad. Very good. Now remember this ra is thick as well. So try again. Yaq. Yaq dira alayhi ahad. Very good. You're a lot more confident as well. Okay, continue. Yaqulu ahla. Ahlak al Bada. Good. And continue. Last verse. Ayah Sabu Alam. Yaraha. Okay, I'm going to make you pause here. Start from a. Ah. Al um, that one. So you said ayah sabu then. Alam yarahu ahad. Good. I'm going to take you back to alam and remember this raw is thick. Okay, so start from alam. Alam yara. Okay, good. And now also the madda on the who means it's prolonged for quite a long time, so around three to four seconds. So try again. Lots of things to remember. Alam from there. Alam yara ahad. 
Good, good. Okay, Jazakallah, that was brilliant. Jazakallah. Okay, Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay, can I just make an announcement at this point? There are a couple of people who have incorrect ID. They've been put in the waiting room. So please, can you change your ID? And um, you'll be put into the class then. Okay. Right, could I have the next student on the mic, please? Yes. Can I have a student uh, ID number A7389? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good, alhamdulillah. Okay, could you start reading from, from this highlighted bit here? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم نجعل الله عينين ولسانا وشفاة Okay, Jazakallah. Let me just stop you there. Let's address these ones here. So there's only two highlighted bits. Um, why do you think I highlighted this gene? Oh, uh, calculator. Very good. And what about this lam mushadid? I highlighted that too. Can you tell me why? Did I prolong it? You made it thick. Yeah. Oh. Do you know why you don't make it thick? Um, because uh, you only make it thick when it's in the Allah. Very good. Allah. Very good. So that's quite tricky because not all la mushad is a thick. It's only the name of Allah, like you rightly said. So this is going to be a thin sound, like Najwa Allahu, with a smiley face. You Can you try from Alam? Alam Najwa Allahu Aynayn. Okay. Very good. Okay, continue, please. Okay, good. Okay, I'm going to stop you early and uh, I'm going to bring you back at the end when I uh, read through the whole verse. So that's why I'm stopping you early and not giving you enough time. You're going to come back at the end. So, um, co-host, if you could please make a note of the ID, and then this ID will, inshallah, come back um, at the end of the class, too. Okay, Jazakallah. Okay, Allah Hafiz for now. Jazakallah. Allah Hafiz. Okay. So, could I please have the next student on the mic, co-host? Yes. Okay, we have a student ID number N eight three nine two. Zakallah N eight three nine two. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Now, can you help me? I can't remember if I started, if I stopped, um, over here or here. I think Wahadaina or Najdain. Okay, it's fine. We can read this again. So we can. Can you start from this highlighted bit, please? Wah. Uh, 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 Falakatahamal Akaba Wama Adra Kamal Akabat. Fakura Kabat. Oh, it a mufi Jo Mijimas Zaba. Very good, Marcella. Let me stop you there. That was very good. Okay, let's go back to where you started. There's only a few highlighted bits as well, so we'll get through quite quickly. So, Wahadeina, what do you? Why do you think I stopped you there on this na? 
Because I didn't pronounce it for a long time. Yes, you're right. So just, just two seconds, that's all it takes. So could you just recite this line again, the first one? Very good. And how long did you prolong that for? Two seconds. That's correct. And why did I highlight this bit here? Um, the cough. What can you tell me about cough? The there should be two things that you should know about golf. Can I help you? That um, you, it's a thick letter. Very good. Actually, while I have you here, can you tell me which ones the thick letters are? Um, raw. So no, sorry, this is just confusing you. Ignore this. Let's go here. Now you, I'm sure you'll be able to tell me which, which ones the thick letters are. Can you read these all in the thick voice, please? Yeah. The sword. No, no, this, this one here. So, ho. Ho. Sword. The. Dod. 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 No, this one is to. To. Sword. Zo. Zwa, Gof, and Ein. That's right, Ein. Very good. So I just reminding you, this one is a Gof. Mal a Qaba. Okay. And um, what was the other thing I wanted to remind you of? Right. What about this raw here? Um, you pronounce that for two seconds. Uh, yes. And what else can you tell me about raw? Isn't it's a thick letter. That's right. That's right. What What about here? Um. What do you think? It. You. You say. You. Let me help you. So. Um. The letter you're stopping on is a tamar buddha. This here, Tun, is the name for it, it's just Tamar Buddha. And if we go back, you'll see there it is, that's the Tamar Buddha. And if there's a stop sign, so let me take you here. If there's a stop sign, the Tamar Buddha, Tamar Buddha changes to a Sakin. So I'll read the first example. First is Robara Tun, but in a stop it's Robara. So could you read the next examples and imagine there's a stop at the end? Dijaroh. Good. Bifahisha. Good. Walhijaroh. Yep. Waswala. No, waswala. Very good. Rahbaniya. Very good. So we're just going to apply that as well when you stop here. So it's mal aqabah, yeah. And then again the same thing. I'm sure you know why I highlighted this one. Because it's a thick letter. Yeah. And, um. No, that was it. Just a thick letter. That's fine. And what about this one here? You also you, when it's a stop sign, you, um, you say ah. Uh -huh. Yes. Put, like, you kind of say, oh. Well done. Well remembered. And what about this one here? That's a thick letter, um, and it's raw. So. Yeah, you're right. Well done. So it's must roba. So lots of things to things to remember. So have a go and recite from where you started. Wahadena. Wahadena, huna jadain. Okay, let me stop you there. That was fine. This, I highlighted the noon because uh, it's a Moshezi letter. You need to pause on there for two seconds. So start from the beginning. Wa. Wa hadayna hunna jadayn. Beautiful, mashallah. Continue. Falakata hamal aqabah. Good. 
وما أدراك ما العقبة فك رقبة أو إتأم في يوم من دي مسغبة Good. I'm going to take, take you back to this. I don't think you realize, but this on this me, me, min, you did a beautiful ikhfa sound, and you read it back again, and you didn't do the ikhfa sound, you forgot. So the ikhfa sound is lovely to hear. You did it here as well, and you did it in the right place. Um, just to beautify your recitation, I would say you need to uh, prolong it for two seconds. So you're doing it, you're just slightly touching on it, but it needs to be two seconds. So have a go on the two ikhfa places. Start from aw. Aw it well done and well done for putting into practice all the so many many rules I told you you're able to do it straight away so that was very nice okay Jazakallah Jazakallah Alafiz Assalamu alaikum and her brothers there as well okay um okay sure Wa alaikum salam Okay, so could you recite as well, please? Alhamdulillah. Billah. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan nirrajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Yeah. Yatim Yatimam Manda mak mak rabad rabah. Good. Oh, Miss Kinan di da the matra rayatin. Hold on. Ra, yeah. Raya. Raba. Raba. Okay. So 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 bil mar okay zakala so you can tell that you were paying attention to when i explained to your sister about the time rabuta because uh, you were mindful to change the time rabuta into hasakina so well done um why did i highlight this qaf here um because it's a qalqala that's right so that will be Makuraba. So you can go back and read that when uh, I ask you in the end. And what about this Ra here? Um, it's a Kalkala as well. This isn't a Kalkala. What else can you tell me about the Ra? Um, it's a thick letter. That's right. So Ra itself is not a thick letter, but when it has a Fatal Dhamma on it, then it becomes, then it, you read it thick. And the reason I highlighted these two, they're similar mistakes. It's wada wa so. So this wa, because of the alif, is going to be prolonged for two seconds. So wada wa so. And similarly here, wada wa so. So you need to read that for two seconds. Okay? So do you understand what you need to do on the highlighted part? Yes. Okay. So can you read from where you started? Yati man. Yati man the Can I just stop you? I think I confused you wrongfully. It, it is an ikhfa and light nasal sound like you're doing. So it's a light nasal sound on the man. It's yati man. Okay? Okay. Yati man the makrabba. Okay. This qaf is thick. I know you did the kalkala. So it's also thick. Makrabba. Makaraba. Good. Oh, my miss. 
يقينا ذا مطرب ثم كنا من الذين آمنوا وتوصوا بالصبر بِسَبْرِ وَتَوَاسَوَ Good, good. No, you doing fine. Now, can, you can see my screen, right? Yes. Okay. So the extra thing I highlighted is this none here. Now, your ikhfa is already so good, but you just seem to miss it or forget it on this one here. So could you read this small verse again, bearing in mind the ikhfa on the noon here? Oh, oh, miskinan. Okay, very good. What I appreciate a lot about your recitation is that you're reading slowly and I can tell that you're thinking about every single letter you're reading. So that's really good. That's the way to do it. Well done. Jazakallah. And we'll call you again soon, inshallah. Allah Hafiz for now. Allah Hafiz. Okay. Could we have the next student onto the mic, please? Yes. Our next student is A7394. Okay. Jazakallah. A7394. Assalamu alaikum. A7394. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Okay, can you finish up the surah for us from here, please? Okay. Auzu billahi min ash-shaitan ar-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. Ulaika ashabul ma'ana wal-lazi kafaru. Hang on, wal-lazi na. Wal-lazi na kafaru bi ayati na. هم أصحاب المشآمة عليه عليهم نار مقصدة. Very good. Okay, let's go back. So I highlighted this lamb with a mud on it. Can you tell me why? What do you think? Uh, because I didn't uh prolong it for uh four to five seconds. Very good. So when you're saying this lam, it's useful to hold out your fingers and start counting to four. Okay. Okay, so next time you can do that. And the other thing is this here. What about here? Uh, it's a uh, vertical fatah. Yes. So this needs to be prolonged for how long? Two seconds. Sorry, how much? Two. Yes, two seconds. So you did the ya fine, but the a... Ah, and the ya needs to be the same. Be a ya si. Okay. And what yeah. about I've done this one twice. The sword here and the sword here. Why do you think I highlighted that? Because it's a thick letter. That's right. So how would you say that? Be ashabu. So even now I'm hearing a bit of a s sound. As. As. Good. When it's tricky because you need to be mindful not to make the <coughs> alif thick. So it's a. Oh. oh. Okay, good. And what about here? It's a time armubuta. Yes, so what needs to be done in a stop? It needs to be a uh, ha sound. Good. So I was hearing your ha sounds at the end of every verse, but I think they need to be a little bit more prominent. So al mash amah. Okay, so a bit more prominent. You need to be mindful not to change it into a, the ha sound. So not mush a mah, but just a soft ha sound, just like you're gently breathing out from your mouth. 
Okay. okay. So we're going to go back and you're going to try and correct all the small mistakes you made. Okay. Ula ika ashabul mai mana. Mai mana. Mai mana. Good. Walla zina kafaru bi ayatina hum ashabul mash'a ma. Okay, I think you can say this one again because although you made this long, bi ayati, Again, this wasn't thick, so that's al and then al mash So try that from Wallazina. Wallazina kafaru bi ayatina hum ashabul mash ama. Good. Alam alayhim narum musada. Okay, very good. Okay. <coughs> And um, because I think you just had um, a short recitation, you can also do the first verse as well. Okay. La uksimu bihaz al balad. Okay. So on this one, it's a madda. I need to be held for three seconds at least. So la, and I'm opening my fingers as I say that. So you try the same. La. That was two seconds. Can you do it a bit more, please? La. Again, a, a bit longer. Count on your fingers. Slowly, three seconds. La. Good. That's good. So it helps if you know you're going. To, if there's a um, madat in the verse, it helps if you take a deep breath before. So you you are. It allows you to hold your breath for that long. And then the qaf I highlighted. Why do you think? Uh, because it's a thick letter. It's a thick letter. And what else is it? Um, it is. Oh, I don't know. It's one of five letters that are. Barking. That's right. Yep, you say it with confidence. It is a jerking sound letter. Okay. So ukosimu, and then what about here? It's uh, kalkala. Yes, it's the same. It's kalkala. So D is not a kalkala letter, but <laughs> when it comes with a stop. It has a sukoon on the end, and dal with a sukoon is definitely a kagla letter. So you need to bounce off two letters here, the qaf and the dal. So let's read that one again. And remember, you must make this la at least three seconds long. Okay. La uqsimu bihazal balad. Good. So I heard the kagla here. I heard you made this qaf thick. But I didn't hear the jerking sound on it, the bouncing. So la Uqsimu. La uqsimu. Uq. Uq. That's right. So try again. La uqsimu bihazal balad. Very good. Okay, very good. Jazakallah, I let you go now. Allah is for now. Um, Co-host, could I please have the student that um, I told you to make the note of the ID on? Can I have them back, please, to recite with me? And then I'll be reciting verse by verse, and the student can follow. Okay. We have a student, A7389. Okay. Was this the original student? It's A7389. Yeah? Okay. Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Um, so you recited with me um, a few minutes ago, right? Yes. Okay, great. So I'm going to give a full recitation of the surah verse by verse and you just follow after me, okay? Okay. Okay. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. La uqsimu bi hadhal balad. La uqsimu bi hadhal balad. Wa anta hillum so this is the miniature meme. So it's supposed to be held for two seconds. Very good. 
Good. And what happens here? What's in the margin? What does that mean? And you have to stop there. It's That's right. That's right. So on all, all on all the other stops, we are stopping. That's because for our ease of recitation and because we're all learning. But on this one, you have no choice but to stop. You must stop. Okay, so good. Well remembered. Yaqulu ahlaktu malalubada. Yaqulu ahlaktu malalubada. Good. Can I just say, everyone who's listening at home, when I recite, you can also recite at home as well, please. Ayahsabu alam, sorry. Ayahsabu alam yarahu ahad. Ayahsabu alam yarahu ahad. Alam Najal Lahu Ainain Alam Najal Lahu Ainain Walisa Nau Washafatain Walisa Nau Washafatain Wahadaina Hunaj Sorry Wahadaina Hunna Jadain Wahadaina Hunna Jadain Falakota Hamal Akaba Falakota Hamal Akaba Wama Adora Kamal Akaba Wama Adora Kamal Akaba Rokoba Fakura Rokaba O Ipa Mufio Mufi Maskoba O Ipa Mufio Minzi Maskoba Yatima the Makoroba Yatimu za makraba au miskina za matraba au miskina za matraba thumma kana min alladhina amanu wa tawasaw bisabr Summa kana min al-lazina amanu wa tawasaw bil-sabr wa tawasaw bil-marhamah wa tawasaw bil-marhamah Ula'ika ashabu al-maymanah Ulaika ashabu al-maymanah Wallathina kafaru bi ayatina hum ashabu al-mash'amah Wallathina kafaru bi ayatina hum ashabu al-mash'amah عليهم نار مؤصدة عليهم نار مؤصدة. okay جزاك الله جزاك الله okay الله في صنع الله في okay co-host we are a little bit ahead of schedule so I thought we would finish with this prayer but I think we can have another student on to recite a little bit with us okay
So could I have one more student to the mic? Yes, we have a student ID number N eight three seven four. Okay, Zakila N eight three seven four. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, where is it? Assalamu alaikum. Seven percent is there. Ah, so we are there. Okay, I've just muted them for now. N eight three seven four. You are able to recite, but I need to ensure that there is no background noise and that um, your webcam is switched off. So, um, Kohiz, if you could just unmute them again, please. And then we can have her on. N8374, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Okay, can you begin reciting from the beginning of this surah, please? Okay. Just stop. Yes. Okay, good. Let me just stop you there. So let's go through our highlighted parts. So well done for elongating this la. That's good. And what about the qaf? Um, I need to make it a bit thick. You did it thick. You actually did it very thick. That was good. What else can you tell me about the qaf that needs to be done? Um, what do you think? It's a, it's a jerking. That's sound. right. So it's a jerking sound. So la uqsimu. Can you say that? La uqsimu. Good. What about this dal? It's also a jerking sound. That's right. What about the noon sakin? Um, I need to prolong it. So not prolong it. Let me help you. I'll show you. Then you'll understand better. It's an ikhfa letter or light nasal sound. So the nasal sound happens on a noon sakin or tanween. And we can determine whether we do nasal sign by looking at the letter after noon sakin or tanween. So in this instance, we have to ask ourselves, if ever you see noon sakin, you should look at the next letter. Is it mushadid? So you tell me, is this a mushadid letter? Um, no. No, you're right. Is it a bar? No. Uh, is it one of these? No. No. So if it's not, that means you have to do a light nasal sound. And the way you do that, Fa'in You try? Good. And can you do the same sound on this example? So again, it's Qawmu Walamu. Okay, very good. So let's go back to our surah. It was, this would be wa'anta. Wa'anta. And then I highlighted this one because it's a, mini, it's a miniature meme and you need to hold on to it for two seconds. So, hilumbi. Hilumbi. Good. And what about this one here? Why did I highlight that? This also jerking sound. That's great. Well remembered. So let's read from the beginning and put into practice what I told you. La la Very good. Okay, Jazakallah. Only for time reasons, I'm going to have to let you go. But Jazakallah, well done for reciting. Allah Hafiz for now. Okay, let me just go through our homework. So, homework for today, Friday, is if um, you didn't get a chance to read, please, please practice at home. You need to be reading Surah Al-Balad and applying all the rules that we learned. You need to be aware of what where the Lubakfil Lazim was. It has a small meme on top. And then for the weekend, read these surahs, Surah Al-Duha, Surah Layl, and Surah Shams. In Surah ad duha you have uh, a Maddul Lazim. And Surah Layl, you have a uh, focus on the Waqf, on Fatah followed by the blank Ya, and the Waqf on the Madd uh, Sagheed as well. So you practice all these Surahs, please, applying all the rules we've learned so far. Uh, right, we're going to head over to our closing Dua. So, Kohoth, could I have a student on the mic for the closing Dua?
Yes, we have A7400. Okay, A7400. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Could you lead us in our closing prayer, please? Okay. A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytan nirajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allahumma arhamni bil Quran al-Azim. Waj'alhu li imamma mamma mamma mawwa. Imamu wa no rova rova hud hun hud tongwa rahma. Zakala. Oh Allah, have mercy on me through the great Quran and make it for me the leader, the light, the guidance, and the mercy. Okay, Zakala. With that beautiful dua, we will end our class. Have a lovely weekend. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.